guys, so today I have a book haul of some new books that I wanted to share with you all for the month of June. I'm excited because I just received a Barnes & Noble order this morning, which I've been waiting on, and Barnes & Noble is like the worst with tracking. They just will not let you find out where your package is until it arrives on your doorstep. So I don't know what that's about, but I got my books finally, and I'm so excited to show you guys the ones that I chose. So I'm just gonna jump right into it and get started. So the first book that I picked up that I have been wanting to read for a while now is probably a book that you guys have never heard about and that's a little bit less loved in the overall book world and that is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I decided to check this out because I haven't really heard anything about it before and it just looked interesting to me personally but I guess nobody else thinks that because I've never heard anything about this book before. Okay, so you guys know I'm totally kidding. This is like literally the most raved about book in the book world right now. And I've had this on my to read list for like a year and a half now. I first heard about it from my high school librarian last year when the book first came out and she had told me to read it and I just put it off and I never read it. And recently, just the past couple of months, I've heard more and more stuff and it just keeps popping up in videos. And I decided, you know what? I'm gonna finally read it for myself. So I picked it up and I did choose to get the limited edition cover of the book from Barnes & Noble. It was a Barnes & Noble exclusive, and I'm a sucker for cover art and visually appealing things, so I decided to get this, and I love it. I think that the gray is a very nice alternative to the blue, just because I thought it was a little bit different and unique, and I just like it, so I love this, and I'm excited for the book itself, because I really liked looking for Alaska which is mentioned down here. And um, yeah, I hope that I love it as much as everybody else does. So that's the first book that I am going to be reading in the next couple of weeks. And the next book that I have is kind of related to John Green for me because when I finished reading Looking for Alaska back, I think at the beginning of this year, I researched a little bit of books that were similar in style to Looking for Alaska. And on a lot of the lists of books that you will like if you like looking for Alaska kind of thing. Um, this book popped up and it is the absolutely true Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexi. And I am so excited for this book because I've heard that it's absolutely hilarious. And it's basically about a boy who is part of an Indian tribe, but who has decided to pursue his education and go to high school. And I believe it just focuses on his high school experiences and all of that. So that's very, very fun. And it has a lot of these cool illustrations in it, if you guys can see that. They're all throughout the book which I think is so much fun. So I have a feeling that this book's gonna be hilarious and that I'm going to love it because it has great reviews and everybody says it's really, really funny. So that's the second book and I'm very excited for this one. I think that'll be great. The third one is another book that I've heard a lot about and this one has been kind of more popular, I feel like, the past month or so. I hadn't heard about it prior to watching YouTube book videos, but it is the Selection by Kiera Cass. And I actually just found out yesterday that Kiera Cass has a YouTube channel and that she's been making YouTube videos for years now and she finally got published last November or last year or sometime. And that is just so cool, you guys. Like, I don't know why. I had not known that, like I don't know if most people know that or not, but I had not heard that until I watched somebody's video about the book yesterday, and I was excited because that's just so cool, like more power to you if you're a YouTuber. That is cool, I'm excited because number one, the cover of this is gorgeous and it just looks absolutely amazing, and I've heard also that it's a great book. I think that the overall storyline of the book will be very, very good and interesting, so I'm hoping I like this because it is a series and there are two more books in the series as of now. So I'm hoping I will read those as well and have the collection of beautiful cover arts on my bookshelf. The last book that I have, I've actually read before multiple times and I decided to pick up a hardcover version of the book because I only have a paperback. And this particular book series is my favorite book series of all time. I love them. They are seriously like my favorite thing ever. They never get old. I constantly reread them and I just love them and that is the Harry Potter series. So I've read these ever since I was a kid and I go into phases every year where I will reread them. So last month I actually read the first book which is The Sorcerer's Stone again and then I wanted to read the second one again. So I decided to go ahead and pick up the hardcover version because I've been wanting to get all of them in hardcover and I have every single one now except the third and the fourth. So those are the next two that I will buy 
and hopefully have in the next couple of months. But I just love Harry Potter. If you've never read Harry Potter and you are a reader, or even if you're not a reader, then you absolutely have to read it because it is seriously the best series I've ever read and I just love them. And maybe it's because I've read them since I was younger and it's like my childhood, but I just, I can't get over how much I love Harry Potter, so I bought this one too. Now I've got two more books that I bought outside of Barnes & Noble that I kind of sporadically picked up the past week. So I thought I would include those as well to just show you guys what else I have to read. So the first book I have is Seriously I'm Kidding from Ellen DeGeneres. And I got this a week ago from Target. My grandma actually bought it for me. But I love Ellen DeGeneres. I think she is absolutely hilarious and so funny. And I really enjoy watching her talk show. And I just think she's a great person in general in the kind of celebrity world of famous people and I just love her. I think she does a lot of good to help people and is very inspirational and just really funny to watch. So I love Ellen. My dream would be to be on her show one day or to at least get there, but um, I decided to read the book. And the last book that I have to show you guys, I actually bought from a discount store for $4 in Asheville, North Carolina. I was over there about a week ago. Now I would say last week I was over there with my dad and my sister for the day. I do live in Virginia, but Asheville's only a few hours away from us. So I was over there and we stopped in this little store and they had this book and it is Misguided Angel from the Blue Blood series by Melissa De La Cruz. And I actually used to read all of these books. I've read, I think the first five or six and I decided for four bucks, you cannot beat that price on this. It's a hardcover, it's perfect condition, it's a brand new book, and I just thought it would be nice to add to my collection because I do have a lot of these books already. I think I've got every single one before this one except for the one right before this, so I think that's the first five. I think this is the seventh. Could be a little off there, but I thought I might go back and reread the books one day and it would be nice to have this, and for four bucks, why not? So I picked this one up, I love Melissa De La Cruz, and I thought, can't go wrong there. That sums up my book haul for June. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you are reading some really, really great books for June as well. So I think that that is all for today. I will um, be reading a lot of these soon and hopefully having reviews coming up on them. So I do have a question for you guys though. I'm gonna start reading Harry Potter tonight, I believe, but I would love to know out of these three books, which one do you think I should read first? So out of the selection, The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian and The Fault in Our Stars, which book should I read first? Because it's always a toss-up for me of what book to start with if I have multiple options to read. So I'm excited for all of them and I just would like to know what you guys think I should start with. So that's all for today. I hope you guys are doing really well and I will talk to you all next time. Bye!